hello in this video i am going to show you how we can edit the student info so first of all here we need to take one panel in this panel we need few text bots first of all we need to check how many text bots we need 1 2 3 4 5 6 and for image we need open file dialog so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we need open file dialog. And now we need one button for select file and now need button for update okay now we need to give proper ID and then we are going to take label first of all we are going to take proper name so this is for student name so here i am going to take student name this is for student enrollment number this is for student department this is for student same this is for student contact and this is for student email now we need few label so i am going to take label one label two label three level four five and we need six level okay now here student name enrollment number department same content and email okay that's good now our first step is when we click on this when we click on this uh, means uh, when we select this record then on that time we need to fill the selected record inside this so first of all right click on property and you have to select one property in selection mode you have to select this full row select okay now right click here and we need to uh, select one event event name is cell click oh yeah cell click okay now in this we need to select id so now we are going to check message but so i dot to string 
when we are going to select any record from data that we want that time we need id so i am going to select this and yeah you can see here we get here id 2 when i am going to select this and you can see we get id 3 okay so now we have to perform here our select query so we already open transaction open or close or not we need to check yes we already so now only sql command cmd is equal to c1 dot three command cmd dot command type is equal to command type dot text cmd dot command text is equal to we need to pass here select star from student info where id is equal to id sorry not id but we have to pass here i and now cmd dot execute non query now data table sql data to da is equal to new sql data adapter cmd da dot dt now for each data row dr in dt dot rows and now we need to pass this all value inside our text box so our text box name is student name dot text is equal to dr and we need to pass here our column name so our column name is student name now another is a student enrollment number then student enroll dot text is equal to dr to string and here we have to pass student enrollment number okay now student department dot text is equal to dr student department student same is equal to dr student same and now we need to pass student contact dot text is equal to dr student contact dot to string mm, lots of process we have to do dot but i will show you everything so no worry about that student email dot to string that's all for that now i am going to run this and when we are uh, select record from data that we on that time we uh, we get this record inside this and we are going to check yeah we get here this record and if i am going to select this then i am getting this record if this and this everything so now uh, we don't need to uh, show this image over here because we already we can see this now the next step uh, we have right now we have to see um, two things the first thing is when i am going to click this then this record is filled now if user select this file or user um, do not select this file if user select this file then we have to upload new photo and if user not select then we have to update only this record we do not require to update this if select this then we need to update okay so now here we have this open file dialog good now the double click and we need to paste your code from add student info we need to copy this Mm, paste here and also we need to copy these and view student info we need to paste here now one more thing we do not require this now 
we need to copy this paste here publicly and remove this now go down we have to do some exercise <laughs> and now remove this only we need a result is equal to yeah and this line i cut and this line means this condition we need to put here else if result is equal to is equal to dialog result dot cancel now we are going to check this will work or not message box dot so okay and message box dot so cancel so now i am going to select this and select an image and press this button on the time yes okay because i select image but if i open this and cancel and then i am going to press this then we get here cancel message so when we are getting okay message on that time we need to update new image inside our table and if i if we get cancel then we do not require to update image okay so first of all we are going to perform perform this uh, okay operation and then we are going to perform this cancel operation so for that we need here few lines we need this line and also we need this also for id and now we need to perform here update query so i am going to pass here update query for update query we need to write this so i am copying this paste here and now we need to pass here update update student info set student name is equal to single double double single plus plus student image is equal to we need to pass here img part dot to string and here we need to pass student name student image student enrollment number is equal to student department is equal to student department and now student same is equal to you can see we have to write lots of code student contact is equal to and last one student email oh yeah now message bots dot so record updated successfully now i am going to run this and select this and now you can see here is this is the mom and baby image so i am going to select one new this one now update
yeah getting error now we do chat what is the error incorrect syntax near id where record update successfully now i stop this and run again and we are going to check on first record you can see here we get the updated record over here now if you want when i uh, press update on the time same time we need here if it then we have to go on page load event yeah this is the page load event we need to cut and we need to make one function public void fill the read now we need to call here fill the read and also we need to use this fill the read now I am going to run this again. Hmm. We need to do one more thing. Sometime it will be very difficult because there are lots of terms and condition yeah you can see here we complete this successfully but now we need to do one more thing and this more thing is we need to perform this cancel operation for this cancel operation it is very easy just copy paste again copy again paste and we need to delete this that's all so now if i'm going to select this and just i change this mobile number and now press update button this select this select file then cancel update and you can see our record is updated so this way you can perform this uh, uh, select and cancel operation thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please uh, like it and share it maximum thank you so much